let us consider some more special accounts. One is outstanding expense account. This is something we briefly discussed before. Let us consider a salary account. Suppose the salaries are paid by the proprietor on the 7th of the next month. So a week after the month is over, in the next month, a week after the month is over, salaries for the previous month are paid. When we close our books of account, on 31st March, salary is payable. The business has a liability to pay these salaries. We are supposed to record all expenses following the accrual concept. All this is happening because of the accrual concept. What does the accrual concept say? That all expenses, whether paid or not, should be recognized, should be recognized if they relate to the particular year. Similarly, all incomes and gains should be recognized, whether we received or not, should be recognized if they relate to the particular year. So if we take salaries, if we take salaries, which are paid on 7th April. Salaries for March are paid on 7th April. On 31st March, we have to bring the expense of salary into the books. So salary is an expense and has to be debited. But do we pay? If we had paid, cash would have gone out. We would have credited cash. But we do not make the payment. But the business has a liability to pay. And what is this liability called? It's called outstanding expense account. So salary account debit to outstanding salary. We say, let us see if it is 50,000, 50,000 being the salaries payable for the month of March. So outstanding expense is a liability account representing, representing in this case, if we talk of outstanding salary account, it represents the accounts of the employees to whom salary is payable. That is why following the traditional approach, this outstanding accounts, whether it's outstanding salary, whether it's outstanding rent, whether whatever outstanding expense is called a representative personal account. Outstanding salary account represents the account of the employees to whom salary is due. What is a prepaid expense? A prepaid expense is expense paid in advance. Expense paid in advance. What does that mean? Suppose, suppose we pay for insurance. When we pay insurance, let us assume that the insurance expense is say 12,000. And we pay this on 1st January. That means the expense is 3,000 yeah, for up to 31st March, right? January, February and March, three months expense is 3,000 and the remaining 9,000 is for next year, is for next year. This 31st March is current year. What is the entry for this? Normally, when we pay an insurance expense, the entry is insurance expense, insurance account debit, debit the insurance to cash. But insurance in this particular case, insurance account, insurance expense is only 3000. The remaining 9,000 is not expense for the current year. It is expense for the next year. This amount of 9,000, which actually is expense for the next year, is cannot be treated as expense in this year. It is in prepaid insurance account, 9,000 to cash. So what is prepaid? insurance account. It represents the insurance company's account from whom services are expected in the next year. 
so it is a receivable receivable in the form of not cash in the form of services in the form of an insurance cover so prepaid insurance is an asset is a is a is an asset is a re receivable it is a personal account it is a representative personal account representing the account of the insurance company from whom money is receivable what is income earned but not received suppose we get we earn interest on some investment the amount of interest which is receivable by us as on 31st december is let us say interest receivable is let us say 3000 but this has not yet been received by us not yet been received by us if accounts were to be closed this money which is a receivable has to be brought into the books because this is income this 3000 is interest income for the current year what would be the entry for that the entry would be it's sometimes the term used is accrued interest it is nothing but interest receivable this is a receivable it is an asset therefore it is debited okay accrued interest account debit to what to interest income to interest income let us say an amount of 3000 what is accrued interest accrued interest is a representative personal account representing the account of the investment company the bank whatever from whoever this interest is due it's called a representative personal account it's a receivable account therefore it's an asset account so asset account is debited to interest income the accounting entries have just been shown how they are normally to 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 show how accounts like outstanding salary prepaid expense or accrued income etc arise but otherwise outstanding expense prepaid expense income earned but not received and also income received in advance are all representative personal accounts representing the accounts of people to whom money is owed like in the case of outstanding expense or income received in advance or to, from whom money or services are receivable like in the case of prepaid expense or accrued income what is income received in advance when income for some services is received in advance but we will render the service only next year such income is not considered as income because we have not yet worked we have not yet rendered the services so this money which is received is called income received in advance it is a liability why is this a liability because the business now owes some services some services so outstanding expense is a liability account income received in advance is a liability account outstanding expense is liability because money is to be paid money is to be paid to the employees or whoever to whoever this this expense is to be paid but is paid only later similarly income received in advance is a liability because the business now owes services to whoever from whomever money has been received in advance prepaid expense is an asset income earned but not received is an asset because now services or money is receivable both represent receivables